Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. And today I'm going to be talking about how to change your personal style. Basically creating conditions for change. Now, this is really important. Notice I am focusing on the word change because change is hard. 85% of us could do better at work. We've got a boss or a mentor who's trying to help us change and 85% of us are going to fail. 95% of us who start on a diet fail to maintain that diet or fail to maintain and keep that weight off. 95% failure rate. 98% of us fail whenever we write down and try to do those little New Year's resolutions that we try to do every year. 98% fail. So failure is the rule. It is what happens most of the time. So if you want to go out there and improve your personal style, you want to start looking better, understand that if you don't understand the forces that are working against you to fail, you're going to fail most of the time, the vast majority of the time. And so this, this video is about showing you the six factors, which if you understand those and if you can control them, you're going to drastically in, increase the chance that you're going to succeed and that this change is going to stick. So let's, uh, what are the six things I'm going to be talking about? I'm going to be talking about personal motivation and personal ability, social motivation and social ability, and structural motivation and structural ability. So for six components here, and I'm going to go into each of them very quickly. So what is personal motivation? Well, this isn't saying that I just want to improve my personal style. This is having a very specific reason for why you want to look better. Maybe it's because you want to get that, that girl that you've been looking at for six months and haven't had the courage to ask out for a date. You want her to get to notice you and at least to have this favorable impression that he at least is a sharp dresser. Perhaps you're, you're a husband and, and you've been married for five years, but you want your wife to... You really want her to still be attracted to you and you want to step up your game a bit. Or perhaps you're a father and you just want, you know that you represent your family every time you go out and you're tired of looking like the guy, you know, that uh, that young 20-year-old guy because you're no longer him. You're in your mid-30s and, and you want to show the world that you're an up-and-comer. Whatever your motivation may be, write that down and be very specific about why you want to dress better. It's important that you have this personal motivation and that you're very specific about what it is. Now, personal ability. Personal, you know, this is about you understanding what it takes to improve your personal style. So, a great resource here at Real Men Real Styles, we put out a lot of information that can improve your ability. We've got courses, we've, I mean, there's just a lot of information also out there across the web. You can go out there and buy books. You, you can take, a, you can hire a coach. I mean, there are many things right here that you can do to improve your personal ability. But your personal ability is you understanding and you having the skill set to make that change. Because if you just go out there and spend a lot of money on clothing without knowing what is quality clothing or you know what you need to buy to have a great solid wardrobe, you're going to end up wasting a lot of money buying things that don't fit you. and you know. So again, on the personal, you want to have motivation and you want to have the ability. Now let's talk about social motivation and social ability. Okay, social motivation is who do you hang out with? Are you putting yourself in environments in which you have no motivation to improve the way you dress? If you spend all your free time downstairs in your basement or, or in your garage, you know, working on your, and I'm not saying there's anything bad with working on your vehicles, but if you never get out, you know, it's, it's kind of hard for you to be motivated to dress better because you're not going to put it to good use. Or if you're hanging out with friends who their idea of dressing sharp is putting on a, a polo shirt with their shorts instead of, you know, a, a raggedy t-shirt. Let me just say that it's going to be hard to change in this environment. You should start you know, looking at possibly going to or becoming part of events that will force you to dress a little bit better. Perhaps you want to start taking your family. Perhaps instead of going out to eat five times a week, you go out to eat two times a week, but you go out to a little bit nicer of a restaurant and you make it more of an occasion and you need to dress up a little bit more. Not that you have to. They would still let you in if you were in t-shirts and shorts, but 
It's more about you want to dress nice. You want your family to go out. This is a nice dinner you're going to enjoy with your family. Or maybe the clubs you're looking at, you you realize that I want to dress better. I my my goal. I'm going to go to places in which the bar is raised a bit. So this is kind of social motivation. This is surrounding yourself, becoming part of groups. Uh, another one is you could join a a, a private club. Uh, there are a number of these out there in which. And these are really neat because you're putting yourself in your, you're going out there and making, not you're not forgetting about your old friends, but you're making making new friends. You're, you're getting around people who are, are like-minded, want to go places, and you're, you're just broadening your horizons. All right, when it comes to social ability, who in your network can help coach you? For some guys, they're going to have to hire a coach. Other people, they simply just need to look around at who's will. You know, maybe there's someone at work that's dresses really sharp, and maybe you can approach this person and say, "Hey, you know, where do you do your shopping at? Is there somebody you can put me in touch with who is helping you take it to the next level? Perhaps there's a menswear, uh, you know, and I'm not talking about just the salesman, but I'm talking a menswear expert in your town that you can go talk to, and maybe you know, be very clear. I'm not going to buy clothing from you right now, but I really would like to be able to stop in here and ask you questions." And this is about social ability. This is about you having somebody that you can talk to and learn from as a coach. Uh, there are many online options as well. Uh, I've got friends over at Hendricks Park. Uh, it's run by my friend Lisa Bruckner, uh, Grant Harris over at Image Granted. You know, th- these are more professional services. But if you're serious about this, you want to have the social ability. You want to have those mentors and coaches out there. Now let's talk about structural structural motivation and structural ability. Okay, so structural motivation. This is about you having a reward and kind of a, a penalty system for you achieving your goals. Maybe it's something where you go out and you buy yourself a really nice jacket or you go out and you buy yourself something even smaller, let's say a really nice dress shirt, but you can't touch it. You put it over there and it... It needs to be adjusted to fit you a bit better because it was off the rack. But you tell yourself that if you meet all your goals, if you do all of these things that you've kind of laid out for yourself in this system, that you will take that to the tailor in two weeks to get it adjusted to fit you. If you fail, and perhaps you can get your wife in on this, if you fail, that goes right back to the store and you have to return it, you know, some, something like that. It's a human response that we are actually more motivated if we're going to lose something than if we are going to uh, gain something. So that's why I kind of put that little scenario there. But the whole thing is you can't take it back to the store. I mean, you don't want that to happen. But if you fail in your goals, you know, hey, you know, that that's kind of a, a kick in the butt for you to get out there and to start dressing better that week or to pay attention to those little details to uh, start taking better care of your shoes. And if you do that for two weeks, you get this little reward. And it doesn't have to be anything big. You know, maybe a, maybe a shirt's a little bit too big. I mean, it could be some, something really small or you can, you know, the thing is you want little victories to help you motivate you because those do make a difference. Um, now let's get to structural ability. This is where you've set things up so that it's easier for you to dress better than it is for you to, to not dress better. One of them is simply laying your clothes out the night before. Don't iron your clothing in the morning. Don't steam your, your suits in the morning. Don't even, I mean, simply lay out your clothing. Make it so that if you were late for work, it's easier for you to throw on this clothing that is simply laid out versus you running to your closet and putting on uh, something that, well, just doesn't look great because that clothing is laid out there. Simply having that structure there is going to make a huge difference. Okay, this has been Antonio Centeno. I'm over here at Real Men Real Style. I founded this website because I wanted to help just average guys, normal guys, dress better. And I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, this is probably one of the most important videos I've put out because change is important. It's hard to do. And if you don't have a system, most likely you're going to fail. So understand the six forces which are affecting you. See them for what they are and control them. Take care and best of luck in making the change in your life. Bye-bye.